Hello everybody, it is I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Forgotten Worlds. So we are now in the Egyptian world where we have a uh, flying, uh, I mean we have flying heads, and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff here. So, so, I was reading some of the comments you guys left, and, well, they're actually pretty decent. Makes me happy, makes me happy that a lot of you guys are enjoying the content. But, yeah. Hmm. Like, seeing all that makes me a lot more confident that I can, like, like, a bit more confident to the point where I can, I'll probably do more, more or less plays of other games. Games, for, games are about as obscure as this one. So, here we are at the shop again. Get another health upgrade. So, okay, so... Okay, so the regular armor dells that I mentioned in the last episode. That can only withstand one shot. This one can withstand five shots. Mm, that was a mistake on my part. Um, but other than that, there's really nothing else that really piqued my interest here. So I'm just going to exit the shop. Ah, so we have a uh, so we have Nubis here. I think this thing's just kind of boring. Which is why I'm kind of quiet all the time, because there's not really much to talk about. I mean, I said, I mean, I said most of the things in the, uh, in the last episode. Although now we have these nuclear flowers. When you, shoot, when you get close enough, they will explode. Which is why I call them nuclear flowers. Because they don't like... They now don't look like flowers. So this room, the doors are constantly opening at different times. So you kind of have to... Because as you may see here... Because once... Or at least I think they uh, open at different times. Now I don't know. Oh, no, now they open when you go near them. But that was a mistake on my part. Get all these semis. Now go on the bottom. Yeah, there's really not a lot to say so far. Honestly, probably this is like honestly, this is probably my least favorite ep uh, least favorite uh, level out the entire game. But here we are. This is a boss. It's just some bird dude on a. Uh, the flying ship. So when the door opens up, you want to shoot at the uh, at the bird dude while avoiding the, the falling spikes. And whenever when the uh, bird dude reveals the keeps up. Also, also those things at the bottom will suck you down.
Up there, there we go, he's dead. Take that, bird ship thing. I probably got no bonus ending on that because that kind of took too long. Especially, especially since it's taking a long time to sink. Oh no, I actually did get some bonus ending. Was was Mesquite's pistol in the air with the flying stone also? Not not sure, but you won't begin seasick anymore. Oh, he felt right that was a ship. Ass. At least this one's a bit more interesting. I mean, we're in a, we're in a gold temple now. Oh look, in the shops there immediately. How lovely. Okay, so we got another weapon upgrade here. Another health upgrade. And... I'm just gonna have So, so every... So, in... So, every... So the second and third level of every world, you, you, you get one, uh, you get you get one weapon upgrade. But as you may see here, I'm shooting two shots now. Wow, uh, wow, everything's turning into Toho here. Considering considering this is literally a bullet hell now. I think one thing I don't get is is these enemies right here. I mean, like, I mean, what? I mean, what are they? Are they are they space? Are they like a what's the best word? Are they are they space Egyptians or something? I love blobs. Speaking of blobs, less uh, in case if you missed it, the last episode we basically destroyed a blob, destroyed a dust dragon, and destroyed the world. The the War God. But I think the War God theme is kind of boring. So, so the unique thing about this part of the level is that the background elements actually do block you from moving, as you may see here. And you can also destroy them too. This is kind of like this. Like I kind of like. Games that kind of utilize the background like this. It's really cool, and I wish more games kind of did that. Although, then again, I probably. Although, then again, I'm pretty sure most of these games actually did use this, and I'm just oblivious. But, whatever. I think that's. Oh, nope, nope, they're still showing up. Oh, look, the boss is here already. And we're fighting the Sphinx. Oh, uh. Okay, we're fighting the Space Sphinx now. Oh, that was easy. Oh wait, oh nope, oh nope, never mind. So now we're so so now the space things turned into a worm? I don't get it. They took out the one thing that oh, that they took out the one thing that actually makes this look interesting and they turned into a, a giant worm thing. Honestly, this boss is kind of annoying to deal with because it's, because it's kind of hard to shoot at the weak point. But but since I had the uh, the eight shot satellite, yes, and that's what the items are actually called, they're satellites. It's kind of easier because you can at least take you can at least uh, hit him, take some pot shots at him. Um, in case if you're missing, like I am. It's like here's the thing, all the, all the other, uh, like all the blue orbs there, they don't do damage to them, you have to hit them in the head. This this might be the level I might not get any bonus anymore, because this boss is just, 
really, really annoying to deal with. Okay, never mind. Darn it. My date with Kleput. I didn't have enough time to read that, but whatever. So I feel like Capcom got lazy with the last two levels of of, of this world and the last world, because considering they're only going vertically up. Whereas uh whereas for a while the last level for uh for Dust World actually uh Whereas like the last level for Dust World the boss was vertically scrolling. So we're gonna get this, which powers everything up, and I believe we already have that. Yeah. And we're done here. But as I was saying, like, whereas like Dust World's third level, it was like going horizontally and then and then it go and then it went the uh, Vertical for the balls. This one only once goes vertical for the balls. Like it's not even the level. It's just false battle, and I think that's kind of lazy of Capcom to do that. So basically, we're fighting. Uh, I don't want to say it's a mummy, since well, it does look like a case that those mummies are uh, killed in, like what is it, tombs or whatever. It's not really. It's just more like a uh, almost like. It's almost like it's like a space parasite that has possessed it. And dead. And there we go, boss is dead. Now I got you cornered. There's no escape for you now. And that does it for this episode. Hope, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.